This is Business Today, I'm Marlon Madden. Today we zero in on the island's bread and butter tourism industry and specifically on the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association's annual general meeting, which was held on Wednesday at the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Center. Addressing the association for the first time as Minister of Tourism, Kerry Simmons called on industry players to improve their standards. He said while the hospitality industry had high standards, he was concerned that those standards are slipping. I am concerned that this sector has been doing exceptionally well for a long time, but not paying a lot of attention to details that should ensure that you're able to do exceptionally well in perpetuity. And one of the things that the rest of the world is paying attention to that we are not paying attention to is making sure that we keep standards high and that we refresh and revise those standards so that we continue to be cutting edge in everything that we do. He said while Barbados could safely say that what is being done in the tourism and hospitality industry here is good, officials should not become complacent, but seek to make their good better and their better the best. He encouraged industry players to constantly be on the lookout for any threats to the industry, especially recurring public health issues, including measles and yellow fever. Simmons said it was the duty of the industry officials and authorities here to do all they could to protect citizens and the industry against any such threats. Now these are challenges that we have to be on guard against. And in my view, to avoid closures, to avoid the, the, the travel advisories, the public health advisories, then we need as a sector to get on board with the Caribbean Public Health Agency National Tourism Plan, which they are trying to put in place in every single one of the member states under its jurisdiction. I think that it will be a useful thing for us to start to take the, the CARPA initiative a lot more seriously. During its annual general meeting, the BHTA announced the reintroduction of its discount card program after several years of its suspension. Making the announcement, Member Relations Officer Sunita Jones said the yearly discount program, which is opened to employees of members of the BHTA, will provide them with discount offers from over 60 companies across a range of industries, including hospitality, attractions, car rentals, and pharmacy and information technology. A decision was made in the revamp of the program to allow for non-members companies to participate in offering discounts. The rationale was to allow our members the ability to maximize their spend and to afford the participating companies the opportunity to promote their company via this network. Currently, we have seven non-members participating in this network. However, I take this opportunity to invite members and non-members companies who are not already enrolled to do so. It is not too late. Discounts range from 5 to 20 percent, and some of the special benefits include free up grades at accommodation, and free drinks or dessert at participating restaurants, among other th others. The membership card itself has been revamped to be more aesthetically pleasing to the eye and features a red pride of Barbados as per our company logo. Director of C&W Business, Maya Wilshire, is boasting of a tremendously positive feedback to its tailor-made services for the hospitality industry. And she's urging hoteliers to fully embrace the use of technology to enhance the visitor experience. She was also addressing the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association's annual general meeting on Wednesday. She said while internet service was once a convenient add-on for a guest at a hotel, it is now the norm. Wilcher said fully embracing technology will reinforce the island's position as the premier destination for the modern traveler who is always connected. From a technology perspective, we have already laid the foundation to help you improve your productivity, streamline your efficiencies, and exploit the opportunities for tomorrow today. This year alone, CNW Business has tailored market-leading services for several of the leading larger hospitality players who shall all remain nameless at this point. And I can say that the feedback has, that we've received to date has been very pleasing for both parties. Looking inwardly, our resolve to serve this sector has never been stronger, and we are committed to deepen our relationships by continuing to deliver an unparalleled level of service and responsiveness. On the products front, we also have a suite of hospitality-specific services. Now for today's financial tip. 
You cannot prepare your finances unless you have a clear picture of your income and spending. One easy way to understand your current finances is to determine your average monthly income and your average monthly expenses. If your income is higher than your expenses, then the difference is what you can apply to saving for the unexpected. However, if your expenses are higher than your income, then you need to do an evaluation and make the necessary changes. That's been Business Today. Remember, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper, and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Madden.